Though they are photosynthetic in presence of sunlight, when deprived of sunlight, they behave like heterotrophs when predating on other smaller organisms. This statement is related to. So, this is the statement which is given in the NCRT. Then, this statement is shown by euglenoids. What happens? Euglenoids, when there is presence of sunlight, they behave as autotrophs and when there is absence of sunlight or when they are deprived of sunlight, in that case, they behave as heterotrophs by predating on smaller organisms. So this statement is related to euglenoids. So answer to this question is option number 3. Moving on to the next question, that is question number 102. Select a wrong set. There, what is given is, you protest de rakhe Then, their organs are given and you have to identify the features also and then you have to identify which is the wrong set okay diatoms have cell wall true they are embedded with silica cell walls of diatoms is embedded with silica this is also true second is dinoflagellates dinoflagellates have flagella true and they lie longitudinally only no Dinoflagellates have two flagella with their heterocont flagella. One is longitudinally placed and other is transversely placed. So this is incorrect option. Euclinoids have pellicle and which provides flexibility to its body. True. And slime molds have plasmodium which form fruiting bodies that pierce spores at its tip. This is correct. So the incorrect set is 2 because dinoflagellates have flagella which are longitudinally and transversely placed. One is longitudinally placed and other is transversely placed. So option 2 is the correct answer for this question. Moving on to the next question that is question number 103. Protozoans are divided into four groups, mainly on the basis of. Aap sabhi ne classes mein pada hoga, four groups of protozoan. What are they? They are the ciliated protozoans, which have cilia as the locomotory structure. Flagellated protozoans, which have flagella as the locomotory structure. Amoeboid protozoans, which have pseudopodia as its locomotory structure. And sporozoans, which lack the locomotory structure. So, are on the basis of the type of locomotory structure, protozoans are divided into four groups. So, answer to this question is option number four. Moving on to the next question, that is question number 104. Question number 104 says that Chrysophyta includes, Chrysophyta as we all know that they include diatoms and Desmids. Desmids are also called as golden algae. So by analyzing the options, option number two is correct. Okay, golden algae and armored protest. Armored protest are the protest which armored protest are dinoflagellates. Of dinoflagellates ko armored protest q them. What happens is the dinoflagellates ki body is enclosed by a rigid coat called theca. This theca has two to many articulated or sculptured plates which is composed of cellulose or pectin. Okay? So that is why because they have articulated plates, these dinoflagellates are known as armored protest. Okay. Spindle organisms and diatoms. Spindle organism is the term used for euglena. Euglena have a obloid cylindrical body, so they are also known as spindle organisms. See, though Chrysophyta includes diatoms and desmids, so this option is ruled out. This is ruled out. Desmids and whirling whips. Whirling whips are dinoflagellates. Dinoflagellates ke paas flagella hota hai and they show spinning movements. 
because of the spinning movement by the flagella of dinoflagellates are also known as whirling whips okay so this is also incorrect so answer to this question is option number 2 moving on to the next question that is question number 105 sleeping sickness as we all know is caused by a flagellated protozoan called trypanosoma trypanosoma is responsible for causing sleeping sickness this was an easy question answer to this question is option number 3 moving on to the next question that is question number 106 